senior police reached out to the Stillwell family. Obviously this is desperately sad for the, the family. They, they, they're looking for closure and I would hope that... Um, I would hope that we might be able to provide that. With Derek Percy dying of cancer, the Victorian coroner took the unusual step of holding a hearing at Percy's hospital bedside. But the 64-year-old denied any involvement in the abduction of seven-year-old Linda. I want my family to be whole again. So I would call on Derek to give us that, um, to give us that peace. Police aren't giving up. We're hopeful that while he's got his faculties, that he may see his way clear to giving us information. Derek Percy has said he doesn't remember if he's responsible for some of Australia's most notorious child abductions. A juror who sat on the trial for the 1969 killing of Yvonne Tui has no doubts. He was evil. He, he, he didn't deserve to live, really. There was nothing. He was like a zombie. Percy was found not guilty on the grounds of insanity. I was just so pleased that he had never been allowed to, to get out. The coroner will reconvene the inquest and hand down a finding about the disappearance and suspected death of Linda Stilwell. It's expected that will happen towards the end of the year. A difficult task without revelations from the prime suspect. Emma O'Sullivan, 10 News.